Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. NFL legend just told overpaid players to shut up about Trump. Hits them where it hurts. NFL legend Jim Brown is showing the overpaid and disrespectful take any athletes how to support their president. Jim Brown is openly supporting Donald Trump in his tenure at the White House. Brown has accepted the fact that this might make him less popular with some crowds, but he doesn't seem to mind because he believes in supporting the country and he just so happens to be a Trump fan. Anyone who doesn't like it doesn't matter. The big guy who used to crush people on the football field when he ran through them like thunder might have been one of the last greatest Cleveland Browns players we've seen. He's 82 years old and he's seen a thing or two in his lifetime. He's experienced real racism, real hatred, and he wasn't eating Tide Pods when he was 17. He was lucky to be eating. Jim Brown is an absolute legend to pro football and he's well respected. His decision to support the president and the country will prove who his real fans truly are. One of Brown's biggest statements is that he doesn't care what the black community thinks of him. Brown is a guy who stands on his own and he doesn't follow the herd with the sheep mentality. Just because he's black, he has to do something a certain way? That's not how it works. Jim Brown does things the Jim Brown way. In fact, all of us should be doing our own thing and not be following the masses. Sometimes the masses go in the wrong direction, just look at the people who voted for Hillary Clinton who were literally crying after she lost. In fact, some are still crying two years later. Perhaps they're not physically crying, but some people are still complaining about her loss and Trump is about halfway down his first term. Is that what a responsible adult voter acts like these days? The Daily Wire and the LA Times both provided more insight on Jim Brown's decision to support Trump and stand up for himself against the sheep mentality. Daily Wire stated, comedian Richard Pryor, who famously caught on fire while freebasing cocaine, once joked that the same fate would not have befallen Brown. Fire don't mean s to Jim. Fire jumped on Jim once. He said, hey. Pryor joked, brushing the fire off him. Brown, 6 foot 2 and 230 pounds, dominated football as a running back for the Cleveland Browns back in the 1960s. And even at 82 years old, Brown is still a formidable force. Appearing on the JT The Brick Show on Fox Sports Radio this week, Brown said he's supporting President Donald Trump in 2020. And he doesn't care what the black community thinks. I should be criticizing Trump on every level because he does certain things that call for criticism but when I look at television I see all these announcers become experts and they're pointing the fingers and they're not doing a doggone thing but pointing their fingers, I find myself really pulling for the president," Brown said. Now, that would make me very unpopular in the black community, very unpopular with a lot of Americans, but I think that there are certain good things that are coming out of this presidency because we've never seen anything like it," Brown said, as reported by TMZ. Brown said it's his duty as a good American. I believe that I have to work on myself first to be as good a person as I could be to back up my country as best as I know how. The NFL legend met with the president-elect in 2016 at Trump Tower to ask how he could best help the black community. Several high-profile athletes, including NBA stars LeBron James and Stephen Curry, have ripped Trump, vowing not to go to the White House if invited. But other prominent blacks, especially rapper Kanye West, have praised the president. You don't have to agree with Trump but the mob can't make me not love him," West wrote on Twitter in April, setting off a firestorm. We are both dragon energy. He is my brother. I love everyone. I don't agree with everything anyone does. That's what makes us individuals. And we have the right to independent thought." A few weeks ago the LA Times stated, Jim Brown has spent much of his post-NFL career fighting for social justice and change. However, the Hall of Fame running back says he would never kneel during the national anthem. The 82-year-old Brown, who championed civil rights during his playing career and became an activist in retirement, said Tuesday night that he respects players' rights to do what they want but his preference is they would stand during the star-spangled banner. I'll never kneel and I will always respect the flag, said Brown, who spoke before an HBO premiere of Hard Knocks, which is chronicling the Cleveland Browns in training camp. Brown was asked how he would resolve the anthem issue, which has shadowed the league for two years. Well, if you take the bottom line, what are we talking about? We're talking about freedom to express oneself, and if you don't break any rules then you have that particular right," he said. I am not going to denigrate my flag and I'm going to stand for the national anthem. I'm fighting with all of my strength to make it a better country, but I don't think that's the issue. Because what is the top side? Are you not going to stand up? This is our country man. We work hard to make it better and that's my attitude, 
So I don't relate to this issue because it's newsworthy because where are your superstars? And where are they at? Aren't they making comments? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.